Why is type 3 civilization considered humanity's limit? And how formidable is type 7? Since the Industrial Revolution, our technology has surged, yet we are only at type 0.73 on the cosmic scale, classified by a civilization's mastery over energy. A type 1 civilization, planetary, masters all of its home planet's energy, including stable nuclear fusion and interplanetary travel. This stage is estimated to take 200 years. A Type II, stellar civilization, harnesses its star's total energy, likely via a Dyson Sphere. This stage could take over 10,000 years. A Type III, galactic civilization, masters its entire galaxy's energy, harnessing black holes and using faster-than-light travel. Consciousness uploading might offer immortality. This is often seen as humanity's limit, estimated to take over 1 million years. A Type IV civilization, universal, harnesses a large portion of the universe's energy. They would travel freely across the cosmos, charting galaxies and reaching the observable universe's edge. This may take 10 million years. A Type V civilization, multiverse, travels between parallel universes, adapting to their unique physical laws. They could potentially alter timelines. This theoretical stage might take 50 million years. A Type VI civilization becomes a rule maker, modifying physical constants like the speed of light or gravity. As this could destabilize existence, this stage may be impossible. If achievable, it could take 1 billion years. The ultimate, Type VII civilization, is a godlike creator. It could create new universes from the quantum vacuum defining their physical rules. It would be a multi-dimensional super-consciousness existing outside space-time. This entity is beyond comprehension, a singular architect of existence. For humanity, Type 3 is likely our practical limit. The rest is pure speculation. Advancement requires not just mastering energy, but evolving our technology, ethics, and philosophy together, all while avoiding self-destruction. The true test, as Michio Kaku said, is not reaching the stars, but remaining human in the process.